Hi everyone, my name is Shahnawaz and in today's video, I'm going to tell you which all documents are required if you are going for documentation phase in IME campuses or if you are going in any other affiliated institute. So there is a list of documents so which I'm going to list in this video. So watch this video till the end. Don't miss any part of this video. So starting with the first document that is your date of birth ka proof so that can be your 10th ka mark sheet or that can be your date of birth certificate either of these two you need to have if you are going for the documentation fees in IMU campuses there are some companies they want birth certificate so it is better to have a birth certificate also along with your 10th ka mark sheet and the second one is your 12th ka mark sheet because you are going to join this course after your uh, 12th qualification so definitely they will require this certificate your 10th ka mark sheet and 10th ka parsing certificate these two documents are required if you want to take admission in your pre-c course the next document is your caste certificate now caste certificate it can be sc st obc ncl if you are from obc cl creamy layer then there is no requirement of any certificate and the next one is general ews if you are from general ews you need to have that ews certificate and all these certificate have a certain format which is given in imct browser you can check out link in the description below i'll put the link and just go on that browser open that and check the format what is that format and check whether your certificate and that format is matching or no otherwise they will cancel your complete this thing certificate and all and maybe it will hinder your admission process so just check it and uh, correct it before you are going for the documentation phase now the next document is very very important that is your rank certificate and if you have not downloaded it yet just go and click on the link in the description and please download your rank certificate and take a printout and keep it with you take two three printout and keep it safe with you because it is going to be used in your documentation phase and the next one will be your allotment letter once you'll confirm your campus that i'm going to confirm this particular campus and this particular course you'll get an allotment letter after paying the fee so you have to keep it with you in hard copy take the printout of that allotment letter and keep it along with the rank certificate you need to show that document in the documentation phase now the next one is your two photograph better i'll say bring four photograph and keep along with you and after that your aadhar card keep original aadhar card with you and bring two color photocopy of your aadhar card for the documentation phase and the next one is your medical certificate that is very very important and this medical certificate will be generated by a DGS approved doctor only not by any MBBS MD doctor it should be by DGS approved doctor and if you don't know about the medical phase and how you will find any DGS approved doctor just watch my this video I have explained everything in this video and just watch it and just find your nearest doctor and get your uh, this medical certificate done as soon as possible before the uh, documentation phase and after this there are two more uh, documents which uh, if you have put in your application form then you need to carry this thing the first one is your undergraduate certificate if you have done any kind of undergraduate program like bsc ba or anything like that so you need to carry your certificate and mark sheet of your undergraduate program also and the next one is your ncc certificate if you have put in your application form of IME City that you are in A certificate, B certificate, or C certificate or NCC, so you need to bring that certificate during the documentation phase. So this was the list of the documents which you have to carry when you are going for the documentation phase in IME campus or affiliated institute. And if you found this video useful, just give it a thumbs up and please share this video to all the Merchant Navy groups so that they will also be aware of all these documents. And please comment if you have any doubt related to any part of this video and please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from my side. So yeah, thank you for watching this video.